and it becomes this.
Prices are a bit lower today. Take a look if you have the chance. What are you looking for? Everything all right then. Everything great. It's all yours. Everything all right then. What are you looking for? That what you want? Great. It's all yours. Everything great. It's all yours. That what you great. It's all yours. Everything looks great. It's all yours. Everything great. It's all yours. Everything great. It's all yours. I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to let the. What are you looking for? All done here? Be seeing ya. should taste better or at the very least it, it can't be any worse than last time right box. I wonder if he's hungry. Maybe I should give him some food. What do you think? Okay then. Oh wait, is there anything in here cats can't eat? Hmm, well, if it's just flavored rice, it should be okay. Here you go, kitty. Nutritional balance, though. <sighs> I know nutrition's not the issue here. Sorry. I can't let you eat this. I don't want to put you in the hospital. You mean, like, feed it to the shadows? 
But do shadows even eat food? <sighs> I'm so hopeless. I just wanted to do something to help everyone outside of battle. There aren't many chances to eat homemade food when you live in the dorm. So I thought it would be nice to cook for everyone. But I'm sorry. I'll keep trying to get better though. for me to say this, considering what just happened, but I hope you'll be willing to taste test my cooking again. I don't think I can do this alone. Can I count on you to help? Oh, that's great! Thank you. I'm going to keep working at it. And someday, you'll tell me you like my cooking. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. I need to buy more ingredients, so I should get going. I'll see you later.
Sorry I'm late. I ran into some unexpected trouble. All right, here goes. Back me up, would you? I'm gonna make pancakes. Think you can help? I guess you could say I've got a craving. I used to eat them all the time at the orphanage. I know they sell frozen ones nowadays. But nothing beats freshly cooked, right? You think so? I just thought more would be better than less. Well, let's go on and get started. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, what exactly do we do first? Uh, I, I think the recipe said to use lots of butter and to regulate the pan's temperature with a damp washcloth. Wait, we put a washcloth in the pan? Won't it burn? You sure? <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how to cook anything besides the stuff I use for bodybuilding. I can break the eggs and mix the batter. I'll leave the actual cooking part to you. Oh, so that's how you use the washcloth. How about we add some protein powder? Hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get the plates. All right, I think this will be enough. Oh, check it out! Wow, look at all the pancakes! I knew something smelled good! Yeah, just give me a minute. We can eat once I bring them out. Would you mind getting everyone else? <laughs> and don't forget Amada. Okay. okay! Oh, it's like a Tartarus of pancakes! Did the two of you make all of these yourselves? Yeah, although this guy was the one who cooked them. I said I had a hankering, but we might have made too much. I like pancakes, but no way I can eat all of these myself. If you guys could pitch in, that'd be great. So you like pancakes too, Sonata-san? Thank you. I can't wait to have some. I'll make some tea. I've got some leaves that'd be great for the occasion. It's pancake party time, as they say. <laughs> Thanks for the pancakes. They were really good. Tasted like a lot of care went into them. If you ever make some again, I'd like to help out too. For as many as we made, they sure did disappear fast. Cooking's not really one of my strong points. A certain someone would always say, if you pour protein powder on the ingredients, then you shouldn't be in the kitchen, dumbass. Most of the time, I only ever got to watch someone else cook. So I never really learned myself. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for helping out today. I'm hoping that cheered everyone up a little. They did things like this back when I was at the orphanage. I just wanted to recreate it. My sister used to cry all the time there. But the pancakes always brought a smile to her face. Hmm. Do you remember that medal you found in the package from my parents? My sister, Miki. She made that back when we were at the orphanage. Based on the letter that came with it, I guess my parents found it when they were cleaning. Miki was gonna give that to me after we learned I was getting adopted out and leaving. But then that fire happened right after. And this metal was all that was left of her. Apparently, Miki used to always say she wanted to thank me for being so strong and kind. She was really quiet, and she'd always be following me around. I don't really remember doing anything special for her, but I guess she was relying on me as her older brother. Seeing that medal made me think, would my sister be proud of who I am now? Am I really strong and kind enough to deserve that medal? If I'm being honest, I don't really know what it means to be strong or kind. Everyone who's ever said that to me has left without telling me the most important part. You saw how I was today. This is all I'm capable of right now. 
I haven't grown at all since I was a kid. <laughs> They'd laugh if they saw me now. Maybe my sister would say that. But you know not everyone would cut me that much slack. I realized I'd just been running away all this time. Making excuses about having my own problems. But from now on, I'm gonna protect it all. We promised we'd become strong together. I won't let him down. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate that. I'll be counting on you next time. <laughs> the point of this whole thing was to cheer everyone up. And yet I'm the one getting supported here, you know? I think you're the kind of person my sister would have looked up to. All right, that's enough talking about the past. Let's hurry up and finish cleaning. <sighs> I ran into that group of punks on my way home from shopping today. There were even more of them this time. And one guy managed to get a good hit in. Don't worry though, I didn't do anything that would get me in trouble with the police. I just let them throw as many punches as they wanted until they got tired and gave up. I thought I could dodge them all, but uh, <laughs> I guess I've still got room to improve.